is talk about valid anagram. So you're given two string s and t, so you have to return true if t is anagram of, of s and false otherwise. So this is the definition of anagram. So this will be easy if you use counting array. Like you just have to, uh, you just have to uh, increment the frequency of the character in the counting array, and then, uh, I mean in the s, and then uh, you have to decrement the uh, the character in the counting array in the t. So if the t is uh, the counting array in the t is actually less than zero, which is return false by the way, like because they are not equal, right? So I'm just just uh, write it down, right? So I have, I will have a counting array. And the set will be the number of the alphabet, right? So it's 26. And I also have to check the, the length of the S and the length of the T. This is because the if the length are not equal, right? They are definitely not an anagram, right? So if S dot length is not equal to T dot length. So I will just return for right away. And then uh, for this, for the first for loop, uh, for loop, I'm going to traverse uh, the s dot string, sorry, the string s, right? And I will just increment for every single string in the in in, in the s, right? I will just increment. So c, come here, array c minus subtract a, plus plus. So the reason why you have to subtract a is uh, ASCII table. I mean, when you check on the ASCII table, right? The a is not starting from zero, right? So you have to subtract the a, and then. You, and then in the counting array, you have the size of 26. And in the, uh, I will have to traverse the t dot string, right? To char array. Come on. And then in this, in this folder, I'm going to decrement the counting array. So, uh, it's counting c minus a. If counting array is c minus a is valid, and I also have to check if c minus a less than zero, I will have to return false because I already used the number of possible frequency in this counting array, and everything else I will just return true. So this will be pretty much it, right? Let me run it, and here we go. So. All right, let's talk about time and space complexity. For the space, it's all of 26, right? It's pretty much constant, but it doesn't matter. And then the for the time, this is all of S, and this is all of T, right? So uh, I'm gonna just write down my time and space complexity notes. So this will be the time and space. And this is an easy question, and then I will see you next time, and then good luck.